Hello, my beautiful and big family. Salam alaikum, brothers and sisters. Alex Rodriguez over here. And I just have a request to react. Allah will give Palestine victory. Well, I really wish that Palestine uh, will be free. And uh, the media didn't show and don't show everything that Israel all the bad things that Israel did for Palestine. That's really suck. And I don't agree with that. You see this here? This doesn't mean that I agree with Israel government. Because I don't and I believe all the good people don't agree with that. And I also believe that good Palestine people don't agree with what Hamas did with the innocent people in Israel, right? That's, that was really, really terrible. So, it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. Let's ask Allah for mercy and everything could be fixed. So, family, thanks so much. Let's do this. Let's see what is this content about it. Holiness there. There is an estrangement there. So I'm going to mention to you the last ayah which I feel like fits our moment right now. And inshallah ta'ala, we can take some of the lessons from it. People have gathered against you. Look, everybody is against you. There are too many people on the other side of that trench. Fakhshohum, so be afraid. Aykhafuhum, be afraid. Now, before we get there, there's something deeply profound about the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala built the character of the Muslims and built their spirituality to become more and more dependent on Him alone and to be able to face what it was like to be estranged. When you go through the Qur'an and you go through the momentous incidents that are referenced, first and foremost, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions to us in the aftermath of Surah, uh, in the aftermath of the battle of Badr, إِذْ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ رَبَّكُمْ فَاسْتَجَابَ لَكُمْ Remember when you called upon your Lord and He answered you, إِنِّي مُمِدُّكُمْ بِأَلْفٍ مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ مُرْدِفِينَ I am going to support you with a thousand angels that will be followed by another thousand angels, the rows of angels that will come. Now here's the thing, if you're in Badr, this is your very first time experiencing what it is like to have that level of hostility, to be that outnumbered on the other side, to have that much more artillery on the other side. It wasn't just being three to one outnumbered, it was also the fact that they had their horses, they had their camels, they had the full equipment of war. The Muslims had one or two horses available in the Battle of Badr to them. Everything is stacked against you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows them the angels descending upon them. They could actually see the malaika themselves coming down, lined up. The signs of the angels were all around them. And so they outnumbered them, the people on the other side, and they felt it. They felt it from the very beginning. They felt the push of the angels. They saw the effect of the angels on Quraysh. They saw every single moment of the battle that they were not alone, that they had divine support that was sent down to be with them. Now here's the thing, couldn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have supported them without sending malaika? Couldn't, ha couldn't it have been without the angels being visible to them as these things unfolded before them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا جَعَلَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بُشْرًا Allah did not show that to you except as a glad tidings. وَلِتَطْمَئِنَّ بِهِ قُلُوبُكُمْ And so that your hearts could find some ease. It did something for you. It did something for you to be able to see the angels coming down, the miraculous signs that you were not alone on the day of Badr. But at the end of the day, وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ Victory was only from Allah, it wasn't from Jibreel alayhi salam. Victory yeah. was from Allah, it wasn't from Mikael alayhi salam. Victory was from Allah, it wasn't from all of the angels that He sent to you. At the end of the day, victory came from God. Victory came from above. But Allah sent you that sign 
in that early journey of your Islam, of your faith, to let you know you're not as alone as you think you are. Then comes the battle of Uhud. They didn't see angels in the battle of Uhud. And I spoke about this a few days ago, the messaging that came down. Look, you suffered a blow, this hurts. Don't lose heart. Don't grieve. You are still exalted. You are still victorious so long as you retained your belief, so long as you retained your faith, so long as your principles, your purpose remains intact. You are victorious. Wow, that was short, but there was a, a, a big lesson, right? Don't lose your faith. Always trust Allah and the victory will come for sure that was it my big family uh let's keep praying for palestine people and also for the good people from israel and all the good people in the world because we need peace we need to live in peace and you know share love love each other that's what uh, I believe that Allah wants from us. Thanks so much. Allah bless you all. See you guys next time. Bye.